Hey there folks. Alrighty, first real video in a while. No pressure. Um, just felt like doing a little rant today, and it's going to be a rant about Mother's Day. And got nothing against Mother's Day. Love Mother's Day. Love my mom. My mom passed away quite a while ago. I'm going to link this uh, um, video to a video I did about my mom about a year and a half ago. I'll just link it as a response. But I don't want to talk about moms or Mother's Day in general. I want to talk about, you know, how people try to take advantage of Mother's Day, how advertisers, you know, um, try to get you to buy stuff for Mother's Day. Because I saw something today which, I don't know, I don't know how to put it, kind of had me befuddled. Um, I was walking outside my office, you know, going to get lunch today. And this is, this is the, today is the Friday before Mother's Day. And I'm walking along, and I pass a Victoria's Secret store. And at the store, they've got, in front of the store, they've got these, you know, posters, you know, of models in lingerie. And it caught my eye, and, and yes, posters of women with big boobs who are scantily clad, that is, is going to catch my eye. I must admit that. And so it catches my eye. I take a look, and underneath this woman with these big boobs was this little heart-shaped thing saying, you know, um, Mother's Day is May 10th. Get something for your mom. Or I don't even know if it said. I don't even know if it said get something for your mom. I think it just said that would have been really creepy. But it just said Mother's Day, May 10th, and you're supposed to go buy something from Victoria's Secret. And I'm thinking, first of all, who's gonna buy their mom lingerie for Mother's Day? That's that's just creepy. Okay, that's that's creepy, and no one's gonna do that unless maybe. Maybe if you're Madonna's kid, maybe you'd buy her lingerie, but generally, no one's going to buy their mom lingerie. And I know what you're thinking. You're saying this isn't directed towards people with mothers they want to buy lingerie for. It's directed at husbands and, you know, husbands so they can go out and buy some lingerie for their wife. And, yeah, I, I got that. But even that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I mean, there's a time and a place for everything. And I don't think that Mother's Day is the time to be giving your wife lingerie. It just doesn't seem appropriate. I mean, and let's face it, okay? When a guy gives his wife lingerie, he's really giving a present to himself. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. They, they try to market it. Oh, women, you know, they... And, and, like... Any of you girls listening, you can correct me if I'm wrong about this, but they market lingerie as something that women really want to wear because, oh, they want to feel sexy and glamorous. And that might be true to an extent, but let's admit it. If there were no men in the world, women would wear flannel pajamas every night to bed. And why not? Flannel pajamas are comfortable. Why wouldn't you just wear flannel pajamas? They're nice and they're comfortable. Why not wear those? And as any married man can tell you, once you've been married for a couple of years, those flannel pajamas come out, okay? Yeah, if you're a newlywed, if you're a young guy newlywed, or you're engaged, I'm sorry to tell you, in a couple of years, just get used to the flannel pajamas. You're going to be seeing a lot of the flannel pajamas. And you know what? That's okay. It's okay. If you have a good relationship with your wife, you love your wife, that's fine. I mean, why shouldn't she be comfortable? Why shouldn't she wear flannel pajamas, you know? I said, there's a time and a place for everything. There's a time to get it on. There's a time to be comfortable in flannel pajamas. There's nothing wrong with flannel pajamas. But my point is, is that Mother's Day should not be an occasion to give your wife, you know, a present which says, you're a great mother and I want to have sex with you. Because that's what giving lingerie means. You give your wife lingerie, you're telling her, can't wait till I can see you in that so we can have some... Uh, uh. That is what lingerie says. And to juxtapose that with motherhood, to me, that just doesn't seem right. If you want to give your wife lingerie, you know, wait to your anniversary or something, but not on Mother's Day, okay? So, you know, thumbs down to Victoria's Secret for having a Mother's Day sale on lingerie. It just doesn't seem right, and it, frankly, it really creeps me out. And yeah, okay, maybe not the most substantial video, but uh, it's been a while, and I said I was going to start making them again, so yeah, there you go. There's my Mother's Day video, and um, well, yeah, it's nice to do a little rant, and uh, good to uh, kind of virtually see you all again out there, and um, hopefully I'll make another one soon. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.